Fabulous stuff. That is British Birds live in session with Dull Boy. I've got to ask, who's that about? Can you say? <laughs> not on not on a No, I I think you're probably wise, aren't you? Really. Um, okay. And so um the British Birds, wonderful stuff, you know, and this is the second uh, session that you've done for us. What was the first session? When was when did that happen? Exactly six months ago. 4th of March. Right, OK. Yeah, so there we go. You are the memory person of the yeah. band, then. <laughs> the recall. And, uh, Bobby, you were saying before that uh, you were really, really nervous. And I got a little bit of that, but the way that you played on the night, um, it should have just dispelled all of that immediately. But things have moved on quite quickly for you since then, haven't they? Yeah, I suppose, I suppose, you know, we've got a bit of validation through people coming to our gigs, fans, people buying records. Uh, yeah, so... You know, I, I turned up to the first session thinking, oh, no one likes us. Why is he even asked us on here? And I even thought you were going to, like, kick us out after, like, one song. <laughs> and then, you know, it all went all right, and it's been going all right ever since. All right is probably an understatement, you know, but there's that weird thing, isn't it? I mean, you know, kind of terms crop up every now and then and become common usage. But there is that thing of uh, imposter syndrome where people just haven't got the confidence to believe that they actually should be doing what they're doing. And so I, I, you fall into that category somehow. Um, but how long have British Birds been actually going as a band? Not very long. I think, I mean, that, that first record in search of Mr. Riking was uh, written during lockdown. And I hadn't been doing anything in bands prior to that for quite a while. Um, I used to play, like, in my youth. Um, and then, yeah, lockdown happened. I wrote the album and, you know... I've got to thank Kelly over here for believing in me and it, pushing it out to people. And I was just like, yeah, get it, you know, like just release it. Like no one's going to listen to it, get it out there. And Ellie did a bit of like research on people who she thought might want to listen to it. And then, yeah, the rest is history, as they say. It's a strange thing, isn't it? Because there are a lot of people out there who are really, really not very talented, you know, who have got the ultimate confidence. And Why then did you look at me then? No, yeah, you, you are paranoid, <laughs> aren't you, mate? Come on, I, I'm, I've been digging you up for long enough. But there are people out there who haven't got much talent who've got such a big head, you know, and it's just nice, actually, to see the, uh, the, the polar opposite of that. Yeah. But there you go. OK, so um, you have got two great um, support slots. You've got a fair few gigs, and we will go through them all. Uh, but you are playing with both uh, the Bug Club and the Lovely Eggs. Yeah, I mean, dream come tr dream absolutely come true. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and, yeah, I mean... We went to see... Um, me and Emma went to see Bug Club back in October. Um, last year, was it? Mm -hmm. Last October. And uh, we were watching, and we were like, oh, we'd love to do a gig like this. And I've, yeah, just stayed with us, and now I can't believe we're actually supporting them. Well, you will be, because I know, you know, we had the book club in just coincidentally on Monday night, and their amazing manager, Dave, Dave Cronin, came in, and we were talking about you guys, and he was saying how great you were. And then he said, I'm going to leave a, a little paper trail for them around the studio. And I thought, <laughs> yeah, he probably won't, but he did. He did, he left yeah. us a treasure hunt. So what, what exactly did that entail, and what was the end result of it? Yeah, he sent. What did he do? He left some uh, clues for us. Right. Told yeah. us where to look and sent left some really lovely messages, which I think Emma will remember as the memory girl. Yeah, I only <laughs> remember the date because it was two days after my birthday, the fourth of March, and everyone was like, "Don't drink on your birthday." I was like, "Of course I'm drinking." What? Clearly, that's <laughs> ridiculous. You can't say that. <laughs> uh, but did Dave? I mean, he's a very yeah. generous man. Did he leave you a big present at the end of it, or no. was it just another compliment? No, yeah. it, was, it was just the lovely notes, but that was enough. Of course yeah. it was. I, one of them diddled you to open it, close it. And, you know, we have been talking about the, the tunes that you were going to do earlier on, and it was me who really wanted you to do open it, close it. Mm -hmm. uh, because we played it a lot, and I do love it. I love all your stuff. Uh, but, uh, yeah, Dave left a little message saying that that was one of his tunes of the year as well. So, you know, you're getting all the compliments. Yeah. Absolutely. OK. So what's next on the horizon apart from the tour? So, it, you know, recording-wise? Yeah, so I've, I've already started writing the next record. Um, I'm going to spend a bit of time out in France and I'm going to get all the demos done. And then, yeah, we're, we're thinking of going to the bingo guys to record it. And then, yeah, just take it from there. Mm -hmm. Excellent stuff. OK, so I'm going to brace myself now. So should everybody, but people need to take notes. So the 7th of September, which is this Saturday, as I understand it, you are playing the uh, Quarry All Day in Liverpool. 
Uh, and we have to say at this point in time that also, Lou, it's your last show with the band, isn't it? It is. My last gig this Saturday, yeah. OK, all right then. Well, um, well, good luck in whatever you're doing, mate. Um, good luck. And, uh, you're an amazing drummer. So oh, cheers. Nice one. You probably don't need that much luck. <laughs> um, 21st of September, delicious clam in Sheffield, but that's sold out, which is obviously, you know, what you're going to have to get used to. Then the lovely eggs dates in October, the 18th, the Arts Club in Liverpool, the 19th, the Welly in Hull, the 20th, the Crescent in York, the 21st, War Waterfront, Norwich, 22nd, the Junction, Cambridge, the 23rd, the Bullingdon in Oxford, the 24th, Papillon in Southampton, the 25th, the Garage in London, and then you're playing uh, the uh, Traders in Chorley on the 26th of October with Adam Hopper and the Wimps. Yeah. And then you're going out on tour, previously mentioned, we've done the book club dates and always mentioned you, to be fair, uh, which are in November, starting on the 7th, and that, that goes through Bournemouth, Margate, Bedford, Newcastle, Hebden Bridge, Leicester... And Norwich, and then um, yeah, at the bottom there's a little note saying album to on the way. Uh, so it's just a the sound there, basically, of the band dangling a carrot. Howard, <laughs> you need to come here, mate. Come on, don't be shy. <laughs> so uh, and anybody who heard the um, the first time I played um, British Birds, and then every time afterwards, really, I did give a credit because always where credit where credit is due to whoever should be getting the credit. And on this occasion, it's a fellow who's just opened the door now. Who is Howard? Hey! Howard. So it was Howard who just said to me, I was around his house one day, he's got a studio in his house and I was recording a prog rock album, a triple album that's coming out soon, I'm doing a session for myself as well, um, but Howard said to me, oh, have you heard of this band British Birds? I'm going, oh, no, I don't know anything about him. He said, oh, I'm, yeah, I think you'll like them, and then later that day, um, he sent me a link, and the rest is history, as Bobby said before, so another round of applause. Yeah. Hooray! Thank you. Thank you. Lots of grateful people out there. Now, get lost, Howard. <laughs> yeah, what a star. What's okay. Um, so uh, you're going to do um, two more tunes for us and British Birds. What are you going to do? This one's called That Monster. Great, go for it. <laughs> 